for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. And the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past synergy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the present time, third week of October. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy, we got the Two of Cups and it's with the Chariot. Now the Two of Cups, as you can see in the picture, it's, it refers to a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. It says that things, they were likely to be going really well and that you probably felt more than usually loved care for and content. Now because it's with the chariot, which is showing a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's actually directed, controlled, and has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. This card is about determination, ambition, getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It is a sign that you should move forward with whatever's in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But you'll have to use both, your head and your heart, in order to truly be successful. So, like I said, the recent past energy between you and the person you're involved with in a relationship with two of cups clarified by the chariot so it looks like for this relationship it, it started off really fast because the chariot goes fast maybe a hundred miles an hour so things took off like the speed of lightning or it just felt like that and it felt like this person was the ideal mate for you it felt like there was harmony a union a deep connection, a very romantic love. Yeah, you felt like you also had a, like this person was also a friend. There was a lot of joy and sharing. Yeah, so you just went, it took off really fast. You guys were probably making plans already. Plan, planning to do things together. And it felt great. You felt more than usually loved. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up. Well, we got the Emperor, and it's with Six of Wands. Now the Emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. But maybe a lot of people feel it should be welcomed, and that's what you need to think about when the emperor appears because when hard choices have to be made it's important to maintain your concentration maintain your focus well the emperor signals this but he also signals that now is going to be a time when you find it easier to make hard choices yeah and i say this because the emperor is the type that only uses their head and not their heart so enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. Now, it's with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is about victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or maybe receiving some type of reward for good work that you've done. The Six of Wands can make you feel really, really good about yourself. As if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. And I, I say that because if you look at the picture of the Six of Wands below the word present, She's standing on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air from side to side. And then she's got all these people below her. And they are mimicking her. They're doing exactly what she's doing. 
They're waving with their wand just as she is in the air. So yeah, you could feel as if you've got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Six of Wands. When it talks about love and relationships and you get the Six of Wands, it's kind of like that Twin Flame energy. It's, it suggests that you need someone to boost your ego. While the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So with this type of energy, you get a lot of sexual chemistry, a lot of sexual energy. There's passion and long nights spent in bed. So whoa, what we got coming up, Aquarius? Emperor clarified by the Six of Wands. So, this person that you're dealing with, who you felt like, or you feel like is the ideal person, ideal mate, and things took off really fast. Well, because the Emperor is showing up here, you might um, start to feel like they don't really open up their heart. You might start to feel like, um, yeah, they're holding back. Yeah. But you want victory and success. You want recognition. You want, you want kind of like it all. You want that chemistry. You want, you want more. Yeah, you want more. Because you've got, you've got a lot with the Two of Cups. You got a whole lot, but with the Six of Wands, you want more. You want recognition. You want victory. You want success. You want to connect with this person in a deep way. Mm hmm Yeah, that's what the Six of Wands does. You want, a, you want a stronger bond. But this person, it feels like they're holding back. They're not giving it all to you. Like the Six of Wands does. And it could be because this is, a, this is the type of person that has a hard time being vulnerable. They could be a leader or boss. They could be arrogant. But this type of person, this emperor, they never want to come across as being vulnerable. They'd rather have you die wanting to know what's inside their heart. They just don't do emotions really well. So, yeah, you realize that you want more, but you're not getting it. Yeah. You're not getting it. And at first, or the recent past energy was great. You were happy with that. This person felt like the ideal partner. But now you, it seems like coming up you're going to want more because you see that they don't give enough emotionally. So, that is coming up. Now, let's see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Death card. And it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. Because we're all creatures with free will and such things are not written in stone. The Death card. It does indicate transformation and change. It could be a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life. It could be some situations, things, people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind this transition. It can be very difficult for some people. But, the change is nearly always needed. Now, the Death card is with the Queen of Pentacles. Which can indicate you could be spending money, time, energy on your home. Getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. Could be some people will be looking to you for insight. Maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them 
if you decide to do so. So, this could be a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. So, what we got here for the challenge? Wow, like I said, you want more. Yeah, you want better chemistry. And they're kind of, there. you're starting to feel them close, closing off. Or you're feeling their energy is not, maybe it's not matching yours. But because they're the emperor, they just don't do emotions well. So you, with the death card here, you could be losing interest. And you might start to just, just look for comfort somewhere else. Or you might just start to look elsewhere for, you might just start to spend time at home or just look for comfort somewhere else. Or I'm getting another storyline with this Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, it can point to strategy. Now, the strategy would be to, would be to find love the stereotypical feminine way, meaning don't chase it, make yourself available, but don't be so desperate to bring someone into your romantic world. So... The other storyline I'm getting is that you might just fall back from this person. You're kind of losing interest. You might be coming to some type of conclusion about this person or the connection. But yeah, you, you fall, you're falling back. You're not as in it as you were in the recent past. So... That's a challenge. Now, let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Moon card, and it's with the Six of Swords. So, the Moon card, just know that you're definitely in a more psychic, intuitive phase than usual. So, it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So you're going to have to try to stay patient. Now, as with the Six of Swords, the Six of Swords is about movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly, outwardly. It's about some type of transition, metaphorical movement. It could be about travel. But the, the basis meaning for the Six of Swords is about moving into calmer waters, because if you take a look at the picture of the Six of Swords, it's the card below the word outcome. It looks like they probably just battled raging waters. They just got out of stormy waters in that boat. And now, now everything is calm. Yeah, the waters are still. Yeah, and it's, it's peaceful. So, yeah, it's about moving into calmer waters. No more fighting. No raging waters. It's just smooth sailing from here. So, Aquarius, the outcome moon card with the Six of Swords. So, yeah, like I said, you kind of falling back here with the Queen of Pentacles. And you might be losing interest because you were hoping for more. At first it felt, well not at first, but I don't know how long you've been with this person. For a while maybe it felt like the ideal connection. Things did take off really fast. Sometimes that can be a negative. You kind of have to get to know the person first. But how we, how we are in the world today, we got to do everything right away. Yeah. So you guys kind of rushed into this. Or things just took off really fast because it felt great. Like I said, your person is 
They don't do emotions well, but you need more. You need more and you come to some conclusion. You're probably losing interest, so you're falling back. Yeah, you're falling back. And because of the way this person is, you're starting to feel like maybe there's some deception. Or you could be feeling like too much is hidden. Yeah, I mean, you might feel like they're secrets. Because they don't really, you're realizing they don't open up like you need them to. If this is a new person, maybe they never invite you to their home. Or something. Something is making you feel uncomfortable about the connection. So yeah, you realize that um, you don't want a big blow up or or a fight or anything like that. Your person doesn't either. But you realize that you need to keep it kind of like, hmm, just keep it peaceful. So you just, I don't know if you're going to make a friend out of this or, yeah, or you just move and you two just be at a comfortable place. Whereas... You don't want to fight, you don't want to blow up, but it looks like you two just kind of move in the calmer waters. Yeah, I mean, there's no big blow up, there's no big disagreement or argument, but yeah, see the two people in this boat, they're not actually cuddling, they're not sitting side by side, they're not holding hands. It's kind of like she's doing her thing and he's kind of doing his thing. They're not looking into each other's eyes. She's focused on something that she's got in her hand. Yeah, so you guys, you just, you do you and they do them. That that looks like that's what the outcome is. Just too much is hidden from you. So it looks like you don't plan to give in or to give more of yourself to this connection. So Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. But if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. How you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah, because these are general readings, they're not personal readings, so you kind of have to take, take it for however it resonates. Some of my subscribers, they'll ask me, well, I'm not involved with anyone. I haven't been in a long time, so how, how could this be? Well, because they're general readings, like I said, you have to take it for however, however it resonates. You could be dealing with a friend or a family member, or this could be a situation for you. But for most of you, Aquarius, it's a it's a love interest, because these are love readings. So, ho hopefully, Aquarius, I'll see you at the next reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Like I said, just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So, I've never said enough. Thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I, I appreciate the support. So, I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care. Take care.